Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and welcome, Commissioner. It's so nice to see you again and your staff. Uh, I appreciate the chance to be here with you today. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, that competitive market that you mentioned that we, uh, we strive for in Pennsylvania, and we know that's important to our consumers. I always say the, um, the insurance bill is a big one for everybody concerned, whether it's an individual or, an, or a business. So uh, in talking a little bit about the governor's budget proposal for 2016-17, um, he has proposed an insurance premium tax by one half percent, applying it retroactively and going forward. And in the coming fiscal year, he wants to increase his revenue stream by $100 million. This would be increased by taxes for property, casualty, and fire. We have no specific lines of insurance mentioned in the budget. Those areas could include surplus lines, homeowners, auto, workers' comp, med mal. Uh, in addition to a tax like this, um, other states would probably retaliate, increase their taxes on our Pennsylvania domiciled countries when they sell in those other states, making Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania insurance company products less competitive in out-of-state markets. The governor's proposed budget increases the premium tax by 25% from 2% to 2.5%. According to the National Conference of State Legislators, Pennsylvania's current premium is set at about 2, at 2%, which is already higher than the national average. Raising it to 2.5% will put Pennsylvania near the top of the list as the most punitive regarding <laughs> premium taxes. Now, according to NAIC reports, Pennsylvania's current premium tax generates about $800 million annually. That represents about 2.6% of our state budget. Increasing that by 25% would generate another $200 million, pushing the industry's, insurance industry's contribution to $1 billion annually and closer to 3% of the Commonwealth's budget. Um, what specific lines of insurance is the governor proposing be assessed with this tax increase? Are you able to answer that for us? Thank you for the question, Chairwoman. And I think the, um, the proposed increases on property and casualty insurers. Um, and let me just, let me step back just a minute and say that, um, you know, though this proposal was part of last year's compromise budget agreement, um, it was not in the governor's initial proposed budget. Um, I think from the governor's perspective, he believes that we need a budget deal that puts us on solid financial footing, makes important investments, and eliminates our structural deficit. In the spirit of compromise, he started the budget process this year with where things left off for the current year in terms of what was negotiated. Um, but as the governor has publicly stated, he's open to alternatives so long as the result is the same, a, a truly balanced budget that invests in programs that, uh, that are critical to our seniors and children. Um, but in terms of the premium tax, I, I, I appreciate the, the concern that you have about the impact on Pennsylvania insurers. And we've actually been reaching out to them and having discussions with them about their concerns and what this tax um, increase potentially means to them. But but again, I think from the governor's perspective, we're open to, to other ways of balancing the budget, for sure. So while he's looking for $100 million from this, he hasn't specifically come down with certain line items that would be um, hit with this particular tax? He hasn't really come Chair to Chairwoman, I, I would probably need to check in with the, the Revenue Department, because I think they've also been uh, looking at this issue in terms of the lines. But from our perspective, we look at it as a PNC company um, tax issue. But we probably need to check in with Revenue to to go even further in terms of detailing that. And would out. it be your understanding that they are seriously considering what might happen in other states with our domiciled com companies, that they would not become non-competitive in that range? It could be right, you know, since we are kind of the same with the other states, it could become kind of an open warfare as far as taxation goes and the ability to compete. Chairwoman, we are, we are very aware of retaliatory tax laws that almost every state has and the impact that those would have on, on Pennsylvania companies, absolutely. Thank you. I am hearing this from pretty much broad uh, across the industry. They are concerned. Yeah. So I really hope those doors are open for discussion with, with the industry. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.